second left. My leg. I can't staunch the bleeding. Uh, the bullet must have hit an artery. Brandis, if you get this, I hope you made it back to Aslan in time. There was nothing you could do for me. Uh, get to the bunker up north. You'll survive. That's all that... Uh, all that matters. Sensor reading detected. Combat initiated. Primary sensor critically damaged.
Paladin? Freeze. One more step and I'll... I'll blow your damn head off. Who are you? Who sent you? How did you get in here? Easy, Paladin. I'm with the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? No, no, it can't be there. They aren't here. They're 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 too far away. They 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 left me all all alone. What do you want? How did you find me? You're Paladin Brandis? I ask you a question. Why are you here? Why are you here? I followed the distress beacons left by your team. Their hollow tapes led me here. The others? What uh... What happened to them? They're dead, Paladin. I recovered their tags. You... you... you did? Thank you. This... this really means a lot to me. I tried to go back for them, you know. There was nothing I could do, not alone, but... But I'd hoped you've been through a lot to find me. I should... I should give you something. I've collected a lot over the years. Technology, odds and ends. If you see anything you want, take it, take it. The Brotherhood needs you, Paladin. It's time you reported in. I... I, I can't. It's, it's been too long. I... I wouldn't be of any use. No one knows the Commonwealth better than you. We need your help. No, there's no going back. Not for me. Not anymore. Are you sure you won't reconsider? We need you, Paladin. No, there's no going back. Not for me. Not anymore. What have you been doing all this time? Uh, I... I try to do some recon. Explore a little, but... I'm... I'm all alone. It was, it was just too much, too, too much of a risk. So, I've been hiding so long. Three years? Yes, 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 about that. Too long. Are you going to be all right? I'll, I'll manage. I'm so used to hiding and fighting. Everyone, everything. Is that all? I live alone. Avoid other people. Everyone. Everything. What do you want? I could let you sleep here, I suppose. That's all right. Or, uh, or try the food. I don't have much, but if you're hungry. The only other thing I have is my gun, and... No, no, I still need it. I, I can't let you have it. I'll see you later. Goodbye. And, uh... And... Thanks. back. Any word on the patrol? I've completed my investigation into the missing recon team. Paladin Brandis was the only survivor. I should have known. Old Codger could live through anything. Can he come back to the Brotherhood? Right now, we can use all the help we can get. But long term, that's not my decision to make. At the very least, he'll be placed under observation. 
It could be months before he's cleared for duty. Is there anything else we need to discuss? Do you want their holotapes? Yes, I'll take them. If we make it back, I'll see that the tapes are delivered to their next of kin. How will the Brotherhood remember them? They faced their mission with courage. They fought with honor against overwhelming odds. They lived and died together, as brothers. That is what it means to be a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. That's all. All right. I'll prepare a full report based on your investigation. If we make it back, I'll see that the Brotherhood honors their memory. Under the circumstances, there's not much I can offer you for your service. I hope some caps will suffice. This was no easy mission. You've earned my respect, Initiate. Well done. find any technical documents, hang on to them. They might prove useful once reinforcements arrive. Ready to clear out some abominations? Excuse me. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs.
Hey, wait there. Come on. Hold position. Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of guy. Hey there. Lost a lot of good guys today. What do you mean stop, you huh? can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh! You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> You. 
You want into Diamond City, right? What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <sighs> Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? An infant boy. Kidnapped. Did you say kidnapped? Well, McDonough? Diamond City Security gonna investigate this? How about all the other kidnapping reports? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Some tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. <sighs> You're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My boy Sean's been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but 
We're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now, and we can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. Okay. I can at least point you somewhere. Unofficially. When you get inside the city, go to the back, around the market, to an alleyway. There's a couple of bright neon signs. Valentine's Detective Agency. No one likes going there, though, so buyer beware and all that. People don't like the detective agency? Look, all I can tell you is that we hear a lot of complaints. Thanks for your help. Yeah, well, good luck. Stay out of trouble. City's always jumping at shadow. A real Chill out. Like hey, there's a bar in the old data district that's for raiders only. Combat zone. Well, hello. Clear if I was you. Oh, wow. They're tall. Looks like the mayor's gonna give another speech. Everybody! Everybody! I need everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind. And that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall, our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other, the faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths, and other ghost stories to drive us apart. We will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the anus allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. He's so full of shit. this. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Luke? Paper to newcomers. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. 
A free paper? Sounds like quality. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. Piper. Holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Here's your headline. Local man says no. Gonna be like that, huh? <sighs> Smart ass. Fine. We'll do this later, but I want that interview, got me? Hey, Piper. You ready for that interview now, Blue? What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes, I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god, the man out of time. So you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. <laughs> They just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now what would you like to say? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? 
You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Nat. You won't believe what's in the next issue. Just you wait. Loud, full of corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens, but it's home. If anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. the well, hello there. Secretary. Another Come one on. of the poor uh, and stupid of Diamond City myself, come begging for tables. The poor and stupid? Oh, don't act like you don't know. There's two types of people in this town. The ones living in the stands, and everyone beneath us. I know everyone in the stands, and that doesn't include you. Now why don't you make yourself scarce? And miss basking in your delightful personality? Do what you like, but I'm done talking to you. I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. Piper's kind of a troublemaker. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. Tell me a joke. It's all he understands. Yes? Shopping at night? Diamond City surplus is always in. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. What do you sell here? Oh, everything, sir. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Let's see what you have. Oh, goody. You know what you're looking for? We have everything. Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard he knows forever. His ties. He 
never did photograph well. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Nikki's missing? What has he gotten himself into this time? Picture on milk carton time? If only it was that simple, right? <laughs> Nick disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Money, huh. I, I do have 125 caps in the old rainy day fund. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Hey. What you got for me? Something to say? Your thoughts? I'd rather know an ugly truth than a sweet lie. Is everything okay between us? I guess I'm still on the fence. Show me you want to make lives better out here. Then we'll talk. If you're heading outside the wall, you might want to stock up the Commonwealth weaponry first. Broke up with my girl. She kept the cap off the toothpaste. Know who does that? A synth. Officer? Word is, something bad went down in the old Museum of Witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Been abandoned forever. Hey, officer. Jeez, pal. I like guns, too. But you think you might be overcompensating there? No funny business. They say the old Boston comes. Anything for something. Officer? Don't worry. This is You're safe like from the sins here in Diamond City. You don't know what you are. Not trying to be anything other than helpful. Though a few workers always want what they haven't earned. Oh, astute observation, sir. Let me just freshen your glass again. Thank you, my God. I may 
have been programmed to serve, but in your case, I shall do so disdainfully. Let me know when you're ready to order. There a problem? No problem at all. My programming dictates that I serve all customers in the Colonial Tap House. Even those that obviously don't belong. Just know that my senses indicate that you have dangerously low levels of class for this establishment. Let's see what you have. <sighs> Very well. Something, Scaver? Excuse me. I'd get out of the market if I were you. I'm not a synth. Don't move, synth. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes. We're family. Put the gun down now. He's a synth. He'll kill us all. Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no sins in hey. Diamond City. Hear me? Just you he pulled a gun on me. My own brother. Hey, who hasn't engaged in a little friendly attempted fratricide in their life? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh, I need a minute. God, just... Excuse me. My God. Kyle. Doc. Oh, what a mess. Oh, what a mess. Go back to your own damn business. Hi. Do you think that... Hey, Solomon. Gotta accept hey there. Life just you? Terms, I you know? don't know you. Something just keep bad your happens. Just say yes to it. One Statue of David impression coming up. Good. Good. Now just to answer me one simple question. Are you human? Because I will not serve a synth. Synth? What's a synth? A synth. As in synthetic person. Those things the Institute makes. Look real with hair and sweat and blood and everything. So, are you human or not? No, I'm Jangles, the moon monkey. That's just what a synth would do, ducking the question. We don't serve your kind here. Hey, Myrna. I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Trying to tell me you're human now? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business you run in here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. Let's see what you got. A bit of everything. 24 hour service! Only a Diamond City surplus! Some
A. Some sort of code. Well. Welcome, Patriot, to Boston Common. They start of the freedom race. Be decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. Better days, hasn't he it? caught that detective snooping around and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the ball. What? Over here!
can't pick this. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, <laughs> moron. <laughs> Heads up. Hmm? Looking for something specific? <laughs> 